This story has layers. Let's get into it. So my name is Katie Sauter. I'm a wedding planner and I uh, love to talk to you about, about some drama and just have some fun with you guys. So I do have a free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below if you want that. Otherwise, um, you know, if you're just here for the drama, that's good too. Uh, don't forget to boop that little like button and little a little salsa dance this time for the subscribe but uh keep it pg for me as always okay now let's get into this crazy drama story so i found this one in r slash wedding shaming and it is titled black tie formal with a side of botulism so you know we're in for a good ride <sighs> okay <sighs> Prior Pizza 9488, the OP, writes, A friend of mine who's getting married recently shared with me her catering plans for her wedding in a few weeks. As Shrek would say, this story is like an onion. It's got layers. A lot of the details of this wedding have really tested my poker face skills, but this piece has made me perplexed and concerned for the health of my fellow wedding goers. Here's a bit of backstory, aka the first layer. The bride has insisted on a very strict black tie formal wedding dress code. Men in full suits, women in formal dresses. Guests who do not abide by this dress code will be asked to change into provided outfits the bride will have on hand. Or if that doesn't sit well, just leave. Oh boy. That's a lot already. That is a little huge. Like you already have outfits on hand? That is crazy. That sounds like money to me. Anyway, they have been very adamant that every detail of this wedding is to be a very high class event with no exceptions. Here's where the catering comes in. With less than a month to spare, they have finalized their menu for the wedding coming in at a whopping $6 a person. Okay, how do you do $6 a person without it being like McDonald's? I'm so, I'm not sure. Okay, well like, good for them, $6 a person cool there will be no appetizers dinners will consist of pizza and salad and any drinks other than water will be cash bar style okay so it's pizza that's why while i already have reservations about serving pizza at a formal event it gets worse yeah i mean pizza really isn't the vibe is it if you're doing all these like formal attire seems weird to me i mean I, there's nothing wrong with pizza but it's just i mean you can make pizza fancy there's some pa fancy pizzas out there but i just don't I don't see it. Anyway, the pizza joint the couple insists on serving is a very small walk up hole in the wall that usually sells by the slice. It's about an hour and a half away from the venue. The establishment consists of a single pizza brick oven and one warming rack. So it's really small. With that being said, they somehow agreed to provide pies for this 150 plus wedding. They will be cooking through the night to have the pizzas and salads ready to be picked up at noon by one of the bride's family members. For the icing on the onion, let's go back to the storing of the food. Being a walk up by the slice place, the shop can only accommodate for a few pizzas in the warmer at a time. The reception venue also does not have any kitchen facilities and does not allow food prep equipment to be brought in. With that, the food will also be left out and unrefrigerated for 12 plus hours. Where my concerns originally lied with accidentally wiping pizza grease on my gown, I'm now more concerned about getting pizza poisoned. <laughs> Needless to say, I'll be eating a decent meal beforehand for the sake of my stomach. Okay, um, don't do this at your wedding. Um, don't, okay, don't do, th don't do this. We've, we were learning right now. Do just don't do that, okay? That is dangerous. That is so unsafe. Um, let's see, what are other people saying? Blur the Blur writes, Holy S, please update when the slow motion train wreck eventually, you know, wrecks. Sorry in advance for your friend who sounds like she really wants a fancy affair on a not fancy budget. But why is she allocating funds to an extra black tie formal clothing when she should be feeding her guests or at least getting them drunk? I know it's probably not comparable in cost, but still, everyone is going to effing leave this event 10 minutes after they realize they have to pay for drinks and there's no decent food to be had. Yikes. If I was the coordinator and I found out any of this, I'd be like, sorry, this food cannot go out to this guests. These guests are just gonna have to be hungry. I do not want anyone getting sick on my watch. Zed's Dead 79 responded, oh uh, yeah, I'd walk out there so fast. Literally just described this post to my wife and she agreed. Um, Sethra007 wrote, The way my black tie dressed fanny would turn around and walk out with my wedding present in hand, the instant I saw warmed over pizza, droopy salad, and no bar? 
who are these people? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, if I was hungry at a wedding, I would leave too. Ms. Lurks a lot wrote, do you take the wedding gift home with you though? Serious question. Zed's Dead 79 wrote, if the gift was just money, which in my experience, Italian, it usually is, then yes, 100%. The level of disrespect towards the guests justifies this in my mind. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it is pretty rude to just give people food poisoning, which is what this probably would end up being. You gotta take care of your guests in that way. Like, even if you can't afford it, have like a potluck or something, like anything but food poisoning. Um, that's just bad. It's just bad. I shouldn't have to say that. That's just bad. 5150 got a day pass wrote, There's been a few weddings where I wish I just had pizza, but being a vegetarian can suck at times. But pizza and cash bar with formal? That indicates bride doesn't know what either word means. Best of luck, Opai. Definitely eat before and bring a flask. Please post the train wreck when it hits. <laughs> I don't think there's been an update, unfortunately. Well, did we learn anything today? I think we did. Um, don't do that. Um, that that's what we learned today. So I don't think it gets the solder seal of failure. Great. Cool. We learned that, right? Hopefully, maybe. All right. Well, you know, um, don't forget if you are planning your wedding, check out my free wedding planning timeline in the description below. And if you like this video, check out some of these videos.